So, recently, this bookshelf right here uh, ran out of space, and so it has overflowed <laughs> into the book wall. This is a new addition to my bedroom. <laughs> this is um, the, it's certainly interesting, and basically just shows you how many books I have yet to read. I definitely need to stop buying more. Uh, this is a this is a cry for help right here. And while I was moving all of the books to here, I also decided to clear off my TBR trolley. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you will know that this is where I stack the books that I want to read in the immediate future. And I kind of hadn't updated it for a while, and so it was full of books that I kept putting off reading, and so I was no longer really following the structure that I put organized. And I am definitely a mood reader, so I still try to um, read whatever I feel like reading. Um, Sorry, it's a little wonky, I just need to <laughs> fix that. But I like having some sort of general structure, just so I know what I have, um, and just having a bit more organization, because this is chaos. So today we are going to be organizing these um, onto this, and basically taking the books that I want to read in the immediate future and putting them on here so that I get around to reading them. So that's, that's the plan. Paradise Rot is a book I really want to read, and I've been meaning to read it for a long time. I've heard it's like disgusting and crazy, I mean, I've never read a Norwegian book before, so this is um, important to read. So let's start by making a pile on the floor, and then we'll organize them into a structure. Next we have Mrs. Ice Cream Sandwich. This is by Mieko Kawakami. I actually didn't know this existed until very recently, but I love her novels. I've read all of them <laughs> that have been translated into English, and I think this is my last little piece of Mieko Kawakami's work that has been translated into English, so Part of me is like gatekeeping this from myself. I'm like trying not to read it immediately. Like as soon as it arrived, I wanted to read it because I ordered it from bookshop.org, but I I do want to read it at some point, but I'm also like savoring it a little bit um, <laughs> because I will, once I've read this, then I have no more Miyako Kawakami books to read that have been translated for a good couple years because I think um, her next novel is being translated as we speak. Rachel Cusk's Second Place is another book that I'm really desperate to read, as is Send Nudes by Sada Sams. These are books I acquired recently, that's why I'm kind of... <laughs> a lot of these are books that I'm picking up straight away. Um, I also have On Writing by Charles Bukowski, but I think I'm gonna read that. Okay, fine, I'll read it soon. <laughs> I love reading books by writers about the art of writing, and uh, it always gets me really inspired. So, some of these not as urgent. Um, Lote is an interesting one. This was recommended to me by Alice Wynn. Actually, I think that is going to go on to the book trolley. Um, a couple of these I have read. I recently read A Man's Place and The Rules Do Not Apply. Ooh, things we say in the dark. I went to Edinburgh with my friend Dakota, and we saw this book in the bookstore, and we both wanted to buy it, but she ended up buying it and reading it and loving it. Um, there were some really great quotes, and she kept reading them to me, and I was like, oh my god, I have to read this too. So now I have a copy, and I'm gonna read it. What else? Oh, A Woman's Bodies and Transformations. I have to finish. I read the first half of this, and look how short it is. Like, there's no excuse. I should literally finish filming this video and immediately read that, because what am I doing? Okay, it's added to the pile. Let's put them on here. Death of a Bookseller. Hmm, I've heard really good things about that. I think it could be a good summer read. This is the cover, it's very vibrant, um, I think this is one for the book lovers. It's about someone who sells books, and is killed, I assume. <laughs> Good summary, Jack. The Marriage Portrait by Maggie Farrell sounds incredible. Um, I think that's it for this pile. This book I'm so intrigued by, it's called Through the Billboard Promised Land Without Ever Stopping. Firstly, incredible title. Secondly, look at that copy. I saw this in a bookstore and was immediately mesmerized by it, I was like, I need that. <laughs> just because it's really cool. And with a title like that, I cannot wait to read it. Just by looking at him is another book that I've been meaning to read for a while. So many great covers. Um, the publishing industry is really doing very well right now with cover design. Atalanta. So I'm actually going to Greece this weekend, and I think I want to take some Greek mythological retellings with me, so I think Atalanta is coming with me. Um, In Memoriam by Alice Wynn is another book. Um, I really think I'm gonna love, um, and this is a dedicated copy, how cool is that? That's going on the list too. That's like a five-star book prediction for me. Greek Lessons was great, Our Wives Under the Sea, what a book. Latvona, meh. Electra, really great. Um, Detransition Baby, so cool. That was my way of proving that I have read some of the books on this book wall. <laughs> They're not all unread. Um, okay, yeah, the rest of those I've read. Chouette, I'm so intrigued by. That's going in the pile. Same with Haunted Houses. I can't remember what this is about. 
three young women about the past within the present, the inescapability of private memory and public history in prose that is uncanny and precise. This showcases Lynn Tillman at her boldest and most trenchant. Grace believes her dolls come alive at night and talk against her and has a mother who likes animals more than people. Tillman charts the girl's unsteady drift into womanhood, revealing the multiple forms of inheritance, family, gender, culture that a girl must swallow or rebel against. Okay, cool. You ever stop and think like, Sometimes I buy so many books that I forget like why I bought each one, <laughs> like what each one is actually about. Okay, Time Shelter. That That's a book I really want to read. So many of my favourite authors really highly recommend this book, and so I need to read it. Night Bitch. I can't believe I haven't read this book yet. I've, I've included this in so many monthly TBRs and still not read it. You know when there are those books that you really want to read but you just never get round to it? That's been one of those for me. I also find this one very appealing. Hit Parade of Tears, this is a short story collection. Ooh, Clytemnestra's Bind, this is ah, another Greek mythological retelling, that's coming with me to Greece. I'm actually struggling to get these out. Big Swiss by Jen Began. You see, the trouble is, I put some of these in this pile that I was actually <laughs> working my way through, and now they're at the bottom. <laughs> I can't get it back out again. There we go. Okay, this is The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. And I got 68 pages in. It was so good. But then I um, I was reading it on a plane and then I went somewhere. I forgot to bring it with me and I moved on to other things. So I need to get back into this one. Okay, that's all good from that pile. And now moving on to the last one. Another Greek mythological retelling. Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. It's going in the pile. Oh no, why is it tipping? Why is that happening? This one. There we go. Okay. Wandering Souls by Cecil Pinn. Can't wait to read that. Oh, I need to finish this one. This has been a new thing for me. I've never had a problem with like starting loads of books and not finishing them, but recently I got myself into this weird like reading slump. And I think, I don't know, my brain was a bit too overactive. Like I couldn't um, concentrate. And so this is another book that I got part of the way through but never finished. It's called They're Going to Love You. I think I need to spend like a week or two weeks going through all of the books that I've started but haven't finished. I think that's everything that's like a top, top priority. And now it is time to organize them on here. Although we haven't really made a dent. <laughs> to this wall. Also, I just wanted to let you know that today's video is very, very kindly brought to you by Surfshark. And Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And what's so great about that is that basically Surfshark will encrypt your data that you put onto the internet, meaning that your data is so much more secure. You know, like if you go and use public Wi-Fi, for example, like I'm always working in coffee shops or in public places, your data is at risk of hackers. And luckily with Surfshark, that's not a problem. So this way you can do your thing and you can rest assured that you are going to be safe. The other great thing about Surfshark is that you can change your virtual location. So let's say I go to Greece, which I am doing. I would still be able to change my virtual location back to the UK so I could access the UK versions of websites if I wanted to. So for example, if you use another country's version of Netflix, they may not have the same shows that the UK Netflix has or whatever country you are in. You'd be able to change what country you're in and access the version of Netflix from that country, which is really, really cool. And so you deserve to get yourself Surfshark. And you can actually use my code JBooks at the link on screen, which I'll also leave down in the description box, to get three extra months free, which is such a good deal. So like I said, the link will be down below. I swear by Surfshark, I use it every single day, every single time I open my laptop, and it's wonderful. So thank you so, so much Surfshark for working with me on this video. Now, let's get down to business. Paradise Rot is a real priority, as is just by looking at him. Oh, also I should get all of the Greek mythology so I know to take it with me on this trip. Stone blind, okay, and then these two as well. So those are going right at the top. Wait, I realize that you can't really see it. Is that better? Maybe for some, not for that book. Um, okay, <laughs> it doesn't want to cooperate. Zadie Smith, I do want to read, but it's not super urgent. Maybe. How can I organize these into <laughs> urgency? These are the books that I've started and would love to finish. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's, it's, it's going really well. Thank you for asking. Everything is under control. That's going up there. Time Shelter, I really want to read, but I think I actually might be going to Bulgaria because my best friend lives in Bulgaria. So to bring this with me would be so cool because it's the first Bulgarian winner of the International Booker Prize. Oh, this one's number one. How could I forget? <laughs> well, the problem is I do keep forgetting and that is precisely how I've ended up in this predicament. Things we say in the dark, desperate to read. Lot is not top priority, but really want to read it. Death of a Bookseller I will read at some point this summer. All of these 
we'll go in here. Bukowski's on writing. Oh, these three books are coming on holiday with me. And then these two. Okay, so that actually hasn't filled up the book trolley. So I think now I need to go back through these piles and flesh this out a little bit. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back to you when I'm done. I'm not even joking, it's a farce at this point, but as I was filling up the book trolley, two more books. <laughs> Just got delivered. So I have Toad. I love this cover so much. This is by Catherine Dunn. I've been eyeing this up for ages. And then also, if an Egyptian cannot speak English. I thought both of these books sounded great, but now, <laughs> now I have to add them to here. Okay, so here we have it. Let's go through all the shelves. I added these ones which were by my bedside table because I'm kind of working my way through them at the moment. So we have Demon Copperhead, Yellow Face, I'm Homeless If This Is Not My Home, and The Unbearable Lightness Of Being. Just by looking at him, Stone Blind, this one with the really long title, what is it? Through the Billboard Promised Land Without Ever Stopping, Atalanta, Clytemnestra's Bind, Mrs. Ice Sandwich, Second Place, Send Nudes, In Memoriam, A Woman's Battles and Transformations, Paradise Rot, The Great Believers, Things We Say in the Dark, and If an Egyptian Cannot Speak English. Moving down to the next shelf, we have The Virgin Suicides, They're Going to Love You, Death of a Bookseller, Time Shelter, Night Bitch, Hit Parade of Tears, Big Swiss, Wandering Souls, on writing, Schwet, Haunted Houses, Toad, a hot new bombshell, enters the villa, NW, Life Ceremony, uh, Reward System, this one also has a long title, Walking Through Clear Water in a Pool Painted Black, My Brilliant Friend, next shelf, we have The Hero of This Book, Funny Weather, Mother Thing, Sour Grapes, Babel, Treacle Water, Solo Dance, Dominicana, Lucy by the Sea, Pod, Really Good Actually, Penance, Blueberries, this one is a poetry collection about the Highline, what's it called? The Highline Scavenger Hunt, and The Book of Goose. And then finally, on this bottom shelf we have Fire Rush, A Portrait of a Marriage, The Discomfort of Evening, The Deloriad, The Ice Palace, Mrs. S, Daddy, God's Children Are Little Broken Things. This one is called Avalon, Children of Paradise, The Bandit Queens, and Loat. And that is my current TBR. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I had way too much Wait, I had way too much fun <laughs> making it. I just made like a typo in my head. I had way too much fun making it, but um, I'm excited to read all of these books. And thanks for watching, all the best. Stay in touch, bye bye.